Hello my soccer universe, I have decided to do this unpacking in the old style using this background because I want to show you two really really special shirts and I think this way we can appreciate them all a teeny bit better. It happened again that I asked my friend Andy to have two shirts restored for me. They have arrived after, yeah, it took again a few uh, months but they have been restored, this time it was two. Two very legendary Serie A shirts with two legendary player prints that were both quite damaged. And I'm really happy that they have been more or less restored again. And so this adds to the museum wing. That being two legendary Serie A shirts, I decided yeah, let's take a very recent legendary Serie A shirt as well. Uh, those restorations I have been done, I think, by Andy's buddy Foot, uh, at Footprint, who already restored um, the Zidane shirt for me. Just let me pick it from the rail, which is this beauty from Euro 2000. He added the front number and also the back number here. I'm really, really pleased with it. And yes, there were some leftovers from the previous print that was a little bit smaller, but I'm quite pleased that I have this one up and running again. And so now in this parcel that Andy sent and that arrived actually in due time, this time I also had to pay only very little, I think around five euros for import fees. I would say let's open that, that one up. This parcel actually contains four shirts. The other two are more uh, are national team shirts that I will reveal in due time. But first off, we need to get the legend, the legendary shirts out. So let me open up this parcel and I reveal them one by one to you. Okay, all ready to go. Here are the four shirts. Let's take the legendary ones out, which are duly and nicely packed in one bag. And I would say, I mean, can already take a guess. I'll take the white one out first. That's the one that's, uh, let's put it that way, closer to my heart. Although I think most of you might think that the other one is more special. And in a way I do agree. But the first one I'm going to show you is a little bit more special to me. Okay. Bivin, Milan Crest. It is, of course, the Champions League winning jersey from 2007 that I bought. I was living in America. This was on sale. And when they, I think they just had reached the quarterfinals or something, and I got that one. And I decided also to get a name on the back. And yeah, the name on the back was not Maldini this time around. I decided to go for the other great defender in Sandro Nesta. And if you look at the old video, the old uh, style was actually the other style that I had. And the names that was really coming off already was not an original one and it glued actually so well that if you look at this there are still some remains of the old style on there which is not super perfect but on the other side i have not the original style i think it's fine i i, I think it was really hard uh, to get this off but i'm really pleased with the overall result i got because saying you know having nesta back i honestly don't I really don't mind that the egg actually adds a kind of a cool shade effect and you really have to look closely. Um, and especially the number, you only can see at the one that the one was a little bit different. They didn't offer the official style back then, so I'm really pleased to get the original one back here. This shirt is really, really, really special to me because when do you buy a Champions League winning shirt of your favorite team? in the year that they win the Champions League. That has never happened to me before and then it happened kind of out of nowhere and out of nowhere Milan just became the best team in Europe. So this will always live very long and very dear in my memories. By the way, having this shirt up there, I also want to make you aware that I see very often this particular shirt with the Champions League print and all over. Those are fakes. This has never been up for sale this way unless you get a player version which i doubt you will ever get somewhere maybe by some uh chance but all these fakes that i go going around yeah they're very very popular they're fakes just to have it out there i was also tempted and then you know just a little bit getting the tags compared blah 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 it's fake don't even look at them 
let's look, look at the other one that I think most people might think is the more special one. And to a degree, I do agree with that one as well. It's, let's say, the team is the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> the Pirelli sponsor gives it away. And side note, uh, the father or, or the founder of Pirelli was actually one of the first Milan presidents. And now Pirelli became the Inter sponsor. Really, really weird stuff. This is the shirt from the 99-2000 season that I got for a paltry 3 euros. Because from a seller living here in the area, uh, because... It had a really, really badly damaged print. What made this shirt special? And at this time, I actually this was this is my first Inter shirt. I was actually expanding, and for me, this was a true barrier because I do not like Inter as a Milan fan. How 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 can you like Inter? But get, getting a shirt had an added effect that you know, not only did I need an Inter shirt, um, it is also a shirt that I actually saw Inter play in against AS Roma. And I saw that particular player, and you know already which player I'm talking about. It is a oh, phenomenal Ronaldo, print fully restored, beautifully restored. I have, I have to say, this print was so badly damaged; it had kind of double layers, and and so, so I'm really, really pleased to have this one. It looks really, really good. This looks near perfect. I have to say. Uh, so yeah, I saw Ronaldo play in this jersey. Um, at Roma, so really pleased with this restoration. It's also unfortunately the, the jersey that he, for the first time, shattered his knee. Or you know where all his his knee exploded more or less. He was also wearing this one. Tada! Here they are, two legendary Serie A players from the early 2000s, if you would like, late 90s, early 2000s. In in a way, both from Milan teams. Um, now, of course, I would love to have the Roma jersey of the 99-2000 season, preferably with a Totti, uh, again, <laughs> but you know, I would also go for Montella or whatever. Uh, that would add to it, uh, to have a memory of my first uh, Serie A game that I ever visited, my first and only so far, which is, being a, such a Serie A fan is actually a real shame, don't you think? Yeah. A visit to the San Siro is way overdue. And I have been toying. I mean, I once saw the Liverpool jersey that Milan beat there for a decent price. I ended up not getting it, but kind of would be fun. Just wouldn't know which number I should get on the back. Uh, dear Kite, who knows? I mean, I probably will not get a number in these prints alone out of print. In any case, thanks to do first to Andy for again assisting me in getting it shipped out to Footprint and so on. Also thanks for Footprint for taking the time and doing the restorations. I know that this Milan jersey was a whole lot of work and yeah, the end the result is maybe not perfect, but it's perfect enough for me. So thank you very much for that as well. And I'm really, really pleased to have this back right now. And yeah, there you go. Let me know what you think about these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.